Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Reflections on the Rock here at Covenant United Methodist Church. I'm Reverend Ann Kemper. I'm joined by Margaret, Reverend Margaret Scott. And, um, you know, I love going back and thinking how long we've done this I know. and how much fun we have doing it. Yeah. You know, we, we just have really, you know, with the help of Kevin and Bob, enjoy um, these times of reflections with you. Tonight we're going to be looking at portions of Psalm 104, if you want to get out your Bible. It's all about the goodness and greatness of God. Yeah. And so it's appropriate then that we be begin with the hymn, O God, Our Help in Ages Past. Mm -hmm. Let us pray. O oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, our shelter from the stormy blast, and our eternal home. Good and gracious God, open our hearts and minds to the wonder of your presence, that we may praise your holy name and be in awe of all that you have created. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Psalm 104, um, the first nine verses, and then we jump to 24, and then we jump to 35C. And in case you don't know what C is at the end, it's um, if the verse is divided into X number of lines or segments, then it's an A or a B or a C. Right. So it's probably praise the Lord. It is. It? Praise the Lord. <laughs> it is. Okay. Let my whole being bless the Lord. Lord, my God, how fantastic you are. Mm -hmm. You are clothed in glory and grandeur. You wear light like a robe. You open the skies like a curtain. You build your lofty house on the waters. You make the clouds your chariot, going around on the wings of the wind. You make the winds your messengers. You make the fire and flame your ministers. Mm. You establish the earth on its foundations so that it will never, ever fall. You covered it with a watery deep, mm -hmm. like a piece of clothing. The waters were higher than the mountains. Mm -hmm. But at your rebuke, they ran away. They fled in fear at the sound of your thunder. They flowed over the mountains, streaming down the valleys to the place you established for them. You set a boundary they cannot cross, so they'll never again cover the earth. Mm. Lord, you have done so many things. You made them all so wisely. The earth is full of your creations. Praise, Praise the, Lord. the Lord. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure I paid. It seems like we have to reflect on portions of 104 a lot, mm -hmm. but I never really, I, this time I just really stopped to think about it mm -hmm. and look into it. It's, um, it's, it can be, I read one commentary that said it could be a stewardship sermon on how to care for the earth. Oh, yes. And, um, which is partly where this is going, but it's also, um, you know, just this amazing awesomeness of, of God and God's power. You know, although, if I were um, a survivor of Hurricane Helene, yes, and, you know, I wouldn't believe this. Yeah, yeah. I would have. I the, would, the earth broke its bounds. Yes, mm -hmm. the watery the deep. Watery. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but I'm sure it was a different flood that this is referring yes. to, and and not not to that one. But I loved uh, the way it at, it summarized at the very end. Um, the uh, Lord, you have done so many things, yeah. and you've done them all so wisely. Mm -hmm. The earth is full of your creations. There's just a sense of a real, uh, as I said in the introduction, a kind of a greatness and a goodness of God that comes out when, you know, these 
awesome things in nature it has such a powerful mm -hmm. um, effect. And you know, last was it last last week um, in Hebrews it said. Um, um, human beings made slightly lower than the angels. Mm -hmm. They bless God for how fantastic God is, <laughs> um, how good. And in last week's gospel lesson, Jesus says, um, you know, why do you call me good? Good teacher, you know, and there yeah, was a question, uh -huh. why do you call me good? No one is good but except God. the one God. Mm -hmm. So this, this kind of these themes of kind of happened Goodness. over and mm -hmm. over again. Mm -hmm. And this and week it's um, all about creation and the creator on um, Richard Rohr's emails. Oh, I've missed the last few yeah. weeks. Okay. Yeah. It's, there's good stuff in, yeah. in there. And um, at one point he says that creation is our first Bible. That fits. Yeah, that, that is really we, good. Uh, yeah, we, uh, we, we learn about God from what God has done. Yeah. yeah, and what we see. And what we see, yes. Because we'll often say God is good. All the time. All the time. Yeah, he's good. But um, it's kind of this way, another way of saying hallelujah. Mm -hmm. um, when something good happens, we give God the credit. God mm -hmm. is good. Mm -hmm. um, and we go back to Genesis. Every day, creating the heavens and the earth, God saw that it was good. Yeah. Um, and the creation is good, God is good, and not just, okay, good, spectacular <laughs> yes. good, fantastic. <laughs> um, so over and over, you know, Psalm 104 says in very creative, poetic ways that God is good. And, um, you know, we look at the seas, we look at the mountains, we look at how God is clothed um, in goodness and greatness. Mm -hmm. And then one commentator says, stand beside a 2,000 year old redwood and then stand by the next, or the most powerful person in the world who looks puny in comparison. Mm. You know, it's just a different mm -hmm. kind of bigness that, mm -hmm. um, that only God can create. Yeah. yeah. So this awe and wonder of, um, you know, how God could craft and create such a stunning place as earth which makes us question, what have we done to it? Yeah. What have we done to inherit this spectacular and awesome creation? And, mm -hmm. you know, I, we've polluted it, mm -hmm. we've burned its resources, um, we deplete the ozone. And as I said, this, this psalm could be a litany for uh, the stewardship of the earth and, and our call to be a part of that. Um, but this psalm was written before global warming mm. and before we had become such a... Um, users. Users, yes. Users. yes. Um, mm -hmm. So I think I, in that respect, I see the primary message of this portion of Psalm 104 as being a song of awe and wonder at the goodness and the greatness of God. Mm -hmm. And... That's a pretty good starting place if we really want to reflect on what we've done to earth and what we can mm -hmm. do to make changes is to put it in the priority of God being this this awesome and wonderful thing who calls us to make those changes in our lives. Yes. Um, but we start with God. Mm -hmm. And um, we've got a reflection on uh, Friday on Hebrews. Mm -hmm. And I was looking through that a little bit and I was looking through the gospel lesson that we're gonna be looking at in, um, on Sunday. And the sons of Zebedee, James and John, um, who have this kind of, I don't know, I'm gonna, I don't even wanna say arrogant, but it's uh, <laughs> this kind of inflated sense of self and ask this question of Jesus. and. And Jesus says, it's not mine to say. Mm. It's not my, but so mm -hmm. it's that, again, the greatness and the goodness mm -hmm. of God. It's, it's God's say. Um, and, you know, we as mere children of God, um, even in the midst of our badness and our um, ignoring of the earth's resources that we're called to care for, mm -hmm. uh, our careless stewardship of yes. the earth. But I think it would be helpful for us to think about how maybe we're not the great and good ones. 
um, mm. and stop and think and recognize how we failed to live into God's hopes for right. us. Yeah. Um, so with all that in mind, and I think of us as, you know, fallible human beings, um, thank goodness for grace. Yes. And the beauty of creation that can always bring us back to that God that we forget about. Exactly. Like sunset or a... Oh my gosh. That's, whatever things that yeah, just... I, I go back to the... Um, the 2000 year old redwood and mm -hmm. the you know most powerful yes. human it's there's no comparison right yeah and so we praise the lord um because we uh not because we are good and great but because god is good and great mm -hmm. um and and honestly feel a little bit of shame for what we've done as mm -hmm. a as a people to the earth and to be uh, convicted enough to do something about it, right? to be able to respond in a way that is helpful. Um, and, um, and then to just also be convicted in a good way for how much we love and, and follow and are in awe of the good and great God. Mm. So that's our first priority. And oh, after right. that, um, I think things would fall into place. Yeah. But it takes all of us, every single one of us, to do what we can. Mm -hmm. um, I had company this week, last week. Uh, my sister and brother-in-law came to visit, and I was I was amazed at how much garbage we produced, oh. how much trash four mm -hmm. people could mm -hmm. compare with just two. Yeah, when there's just two, and I thought it's not like we were being, you know, overly consuming, but it just. It was startling to me how much yeah. two more people added to what mm -hmm. was in the garbage can. Yeah, but little yeah. things, little mm -hmm. things that we can we can that take we can care make a of. Yeah, right. mm. wonderful. wonderful. Love that psalm. I just love the idea of God, um, like laying a, a canopy of, of clothing over the earth, you know, yeah. over the sea or something. Just yeah. so tender. Yeah, in uh, in some ways. Yeah. Yeah. It, it really does follow the pattern of the creation story about the bound, drawing the boundaries and, mm -hmm. and, you know, the very first day, the light and the dark, separating the light or yeah. the darkness. Into oh, the you light. have to read that stuff this yeah. week. Yeah. All right. I'm yeah. going to go back there, to there it. There was some beautiful language about how um, each component of, um, of creation cares for the next one or makes the oh. next one possible. Or depends, you know. So, so like the sun, um, the sun provides us with seasons. Seasons provide us with food. Food right. provides us. You yeah, know, it's yeah. just very interesting. Huh. Wonderful All stuff. Right, I have to go look at. It. Yeah, yeah. Um, and since we have um, really kind of um, messed up God's vision of um, of what God was hoping. To create and yeah. have and sustain with these human beings, um, um, our prayer music um, is "Be Thou My Vision." Oh, um, a lovely piece um, from Ireland that um, just is um, great background music for reflecting on um, how God calls us to have the same kind of vision mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. for, for one another. Mm -hmm. We're uh, praying this, uh, this week for Luann, who is still waiting for test results, mm -hmm. uh, for my friend Kelly, uh, for Bonnie, recovering from surgery, um, uh, for Marion, um, oh. Mark's mother, uh, recovering from a fall, for Dan Kemper, who's recovering <sighs> from a who'd ever heard of, micro heart, heart attack. attack. He's 41. Yes. I know. It's very scary. Thank you for praying. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> it's good news, though. It is good news. It is good news. He's, he's fine, and he's going to be all right, but he's got to pay attention. Right. Well, that's, that's exactly what that psalm tells us. Yes. <laughs> we, we're going to be all yeah. right, but we have to pay attention. Pay attention. Right. And um, we're praying for Shamika. Yeah. Um, whose brother Rodney was killed um, in some violence in the city yeah. last week. Let us be in a spirit of prayer. Mm -hmm. 
God of all, all of us who are open to new insights, mm -hmm. we come this evening seeking your vision for us. We already know it, but we have forgotten. Yes. Quiet us enough to listen for what you have to say to us. Wherever we are, we admit to the tendency to stay with what we know, mm -hmm. ignore the small and apparently insignificant, yeah. and resist new beliefs or challenges to our beloved dogma. Mm. Forgive us. Yes. Give us mm. more open hearts and minds to see mm. things your way especially when it butts up against ours. Mm. Help us look at your divine creation with your eyes and with new eyes. And help us to be more tender yeah. and caring and creative like you. We come seeking your vision for the whole world, great God of heaven, for we know we have wandered far from your blessed and good creation with wars over territory and fights over belief, yeah. with wanton disregard for justice and arrogant abuse of your world. Forgive us. Yes. Give us more open hearts and minds to see things your way especially when it butts up against ours. We pray for those we love who need a vision of your presence and healing power, especially Luann mm -hmm. and Kelly, mm -hmm. Bonnie and Marion, Dan and Shermika and her family. Yeah. We pray for those who stand in harm's way in Ukraine, in the Middle East, and Sudan, at so many places. Those who stand in harm's way of our politicians, of violence on our streets, and of discontent in our homes. We pray for all who work doggedly for justice while the rest of us watch from afar. Be our vision, God of our hearts. Mm -hmm. Let nothing else get in the way of that. Be our wisdom, for the world sorely needs it. Yes. This we pray in the example of Jesus, mm -hmm. daring to call you the God of the cosmos, our, our Father, Father in heaven, heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And before we go on from yeah. prayer, yes. um, this is um, Pastor Appreciation Month. Oh. Pastor Appreciation, we're right in the middle of Pastor Appreciation. And I want to share a blessing for pastors oh. with you and yeah. for you. Okay. Because on behalf of all those people who tune in, um, mm. to hear you week after week after week. Mm. So join me in this blessing of Anne. Yeah. Blessed are the wounded healers, those who serve others in the midst of their own fear and pain and doubt and mm. loss and worry about their sons. Yes. God, may they know that they are not alone, that you are here. May she feel your love poured out for her so mm -hmm. profusely, so personally, that love overflows back to you in return. Mm -hmm. 
Grant her the encouragement she needs that will set her on a joyful path of service. Provide rest for her body and nourishment for her souls and a trusted friend or two mm -hmm. for life's most perplexing questions. Yeah. Guide her in practical ways as she seeks to lead in uncertainty, comfort people in their sickness, console them in their grief, and celebrate life's greatest joys. Grant her the grace to know somehow that yours is an economy of compounding love, of more than enoughness. Hmm. May it be so. Aww. So God Sweet. bless you, Anne. Thank you. I'm, this is, um, I need my tissue. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those um, regular blessings that I enjoy from Kate Bowler. Oh, so you can have it. well, thank you <laughs> very much. Well, we don't often get to well, appreciate our pastors. Well, back at you. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. All right, so what are you doing on Friday? Oh, gosh, yes, Friday. Hebrew is not my favorite book. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I don't know what we're going to say about Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 5, um, 1 to 10. Um, it's a difficult um, yeah. piece of writing um, for this day and age um, because it really doesn't fit with any kind of... Um, common language that we have but we'll play around with it all right see if it's got something to say to us all right our closing uh is one of my favorite hymns and it's just it's joyful joyful we adore thee and if i were to see that giant redwood you know yes. i would say joyful joyful we adore thee yes and so may you go forth into this evening and to the days ahead looking for that time when you can say, joyful, joyful, we adore thee. Right. Good night. Good night.